Welcome back to this week's Inside the Idaho Vandals. Now, the women's volleyball team was back home for a couple of matches, and home sweet home has been just that for the Vandals. Shelby Owens has more on one good week for women's volleyball. The Vandals conquered the state of Texas this week, beating WAC newcomer Texas State and UTSA at home in the Memorial Gym. Vandals won against Texas State Bobcats in another five-set thriller. Vandals would take the first two sets, 25-14 and 25-13, but fell in the third and fourth games. Outside hitter Julia Church says runs of three are crucial for the team's success. If a team has a momentum, they'll just take it and go along with it, and so we got to find a way, a better way to get out of that run of three, and then we get the run of three, and then the run of six. The Vandals were able to control the momentum in the fifth set and win 15-8. Idaho would next face off against UTSA, the WAC preseason third pick, on Saturday night. Idaho lost the first game 25-20, but battled back to win the next three sets. The Vandals fought hard against the Roadrunners with long rallies and crafty shots. Coach Debbie Buchanan says the game was won because of scrappy plays by her team. You know, I don't think that they expected us to keep getting better as the match went on, and uh, so I thought we did a great job. You know, I'm very proud of our girls to be 2-0. And it's nice that we were able to get better, and then we were also able to be better after a break. Outside hitter Allison Baker helped Idaho with a career high of 29 kills in the match. The effort earned Baker her fifth career WAC Player of the Week award. The Vandals hit the road this week to play conference newcomer Seattle U for the first time this season. Vandal soccer battled against the state of Texas this week. Kyle Westcott caught up with the senior goalkeepers to talk about their leadership in the team. For Inside the Vandals, I'm Shelby Owens. As their preseason closes, the Idaho Vandals look toward their 10 seniors to lead them to the upcoming season. We sat down today with goalkeepers Liz Boyden and Caroline Tolles to talk about their roles on the team. Caroline and Liz are two of the 10 seniors on the team. The seniors boast a record of 34 wins in their careers, the most in Vandal soccer history. It's a huge honor. Um, I've, I mean, I've been with you know, uh, 10 of these girls for you know, all four years, and they're, every single one of them is my best friend. So for us as a group to accomplish um, something like this is its really awesome. It's unbelievable, actually. Liz was named WAC Player of the Week last week for the third time in her career. Liz is confident in her team and feels like she's finishing last year strong with her family by her side. First of all, you know, I'm a fifth year senior, so it's its kind of hard, you know, I, my whole class is gone. But being part of the senior class that's here now is creates a really nice, you know, sense of identity and getting that, you know, the, the record is it's phenomenal. It makes me feel like, you know, I'm part of a family um, and that we are successful as a group here at Idaho. The Vandals lost their whack opener to UTSA 2-1 and tied University of Texas and San Marcos 1-1. However, they're eager to get back on track against Seattle U this Sunday. I'm looking forward to uh, winning some games, <laughs> getting into the WAC tournament. Um, you know, we deserve it with all the hard work that we've done the past four years, the fact that we're the most winningest team or class in history, there's no reason that we shouldn't make it to the WAC tournament. I have every confidence that we will. For Inside the Vandals with Jessica Velez, I'm Kyle Westcott. Thanks, Kyle. The women on the road this week, but next week we'll be back here with another home match on campus. Speaking of campus, time for our Campus Connection, where we take you behind the scenes here at the University of Idaho. Janae Kiven has a story right out of Harry Potter, minus the flying broomsticks. Quidditch, the fictional sport created by J.K. Rowling for her Harry Potter series, can now be played on campus with the newly instated University of Idaho Quidditch Club. In the wizarding world, the game of Quidditch involves flying broomsticks, chasing enchanted balls, and scoring through sky-high hoops. In 2005, students of Middlebury College adapted the sport into a real-life activity. Since its first meeting earlier this month, about 20 students have picked up their brooms and joined the Idaho Quidditch Club. Andrew Wilson, Idaho's Quidditch Club founder and president, says Quidditch is unique and fun because it creatively combines several sports into one. I play a little dodgeball, a little rugby, and a little bit of, I guess, water polo. Players must get the quaffle, or in this case the volleyball, through the hoops on either side of the field in order to score. Defensive strategy includes hitting opposing players with bludgers, represented by dodgeballs. Points are also awarded to the team whose seeker captures the snitch. In the Harry Potter books and movies, the snitch is a golden ball with wings that flies around. But here in the muggle world, where an enchanted flying ball is hard to come by, the snitch is actually a person dressed in gold with a ball in a sock hanging from their waistbands. 
The International Quidditch Association rules do not restrict the snitch to the playing field and encourage the snitch to be creative in their evasion tactics. Although the game comes from pages of a book and many players are self-proclaimed Harry Potter nerds, Idaho student and club member Kristen Baker says athleticism is a must. When I got out here I was surprised to see how like physical it is. I was thinking, oh it's not going to be that bad, it's a bunch of nerds. No, like I got bruises and cleat marks. For Inside the Vandals, I'm Janae Kibben. And it's that time of year again. The Clearwater Corn Maze officially opens this weekend. Carol Zinke has more. Students and alumni from the University of Idaho's College of Agriculture and Life Sciences are working hard to put together the corn maze in Lewiston, Idaho for the 100th anniversary of the 4-H program. The items that we have in the maze represent the three mission areas of 4-H. So the three mission areas are science, represented by a steer, uh, government, um, represented by a picture of the state house, and healthy living, represented by a bicycle. In early spring, farmers begin planting seeds, and when the stalks are a few feet tall, they go through with a mower to cut the design, and go through again with a rototill to ensure the corn won't grow back in the pathways. I just know it's a lot of hard work, and it's really big for our school. I mean, we put it on almost, we help do the designs and stuff. It's not only a learning experience for the students working the maze, but also gives the public a chance to learn more about agriculture while still having fun. The corn maze is kind of about getting people interested in agriculture and kind of realizing where some of their food comes from while giving them some opportunities to have fun as a family and enjoy the outdoors. For Inside the Vandals, I'm Carol Zinke. Thanks, Carol. Hopefully the Vandal fans can get out of the corn maze on Saturday and get here in the dome for the WAC opener. That's going to do it for this edition of Inside the Vandals. When we come back next week, we'll recap the WAC opener for the Idaho Vandals and continue to look at all the programs here in the athletic department at the University of Idaho. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you next week.